Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, I am going to show you some previous year questions of uh, NABARD IT basically. So, in NABARD IT, uh, first I will tell you brief about the pattern of the exam so that uh, when I will jump to the questions directly, you know which part we are actually hitting on. So, the very first thing that you should know that the exam consists of three phases, phase one, phase two and the interview that is the last phase. In the phase one, you will not have any IT thing. You will have only computer along with that. You will have seven other subjects. You can see them in notification, but definitely you're not going to have DD, anything of related, like uh, anything related to IT in the phase one. You have to clear the cutoffs and then you will be allowed to go for the phase two. In the phase two, you have to write two papers. One will be the IT paper, other will be the English descriptive paper. Within the IT paper, you have to write two papers. The two papers consist of one objective paper and one descriptive paper. So this is the actual pattern of the phase two of IT, where you will have objective and descriptive section. The objective section will be like MCQ uh, question thing, where only one question uh, will have only one answer as correct. Like it will not be multiple answers which will be correct. It will be only single answer which will be correct. So it will consist of 50 questions out of these 50 questions, uh, not exactly 50 questions, it will be actually 50 marks. So these 50 marks will be allocated to you by 30 questions. So 30 questions will be like 10 questions for one one mark and 20 questions for two mark. We will discuss about the objective part uh, in a separate video. In this video, I am focusing on the descriptive part because it is something which most of the candidates don't know about. So, in descriptive part, you have to answer five questions. You have to answer five questions and uh, that will be categorized into two pillows. One will be of 15 marker and other will be 10 marker. So, here from the descriptive, what you have to do, you have to attempt two questions from the 15 marker and you have to attempt three questions from the 10 marker. It will give you 50 marks. So overall the IT in the phase two will uh, come down to 100 marks. 50 from the MCQ part and 50 from the descriptive part. Now let's see what were the previous year questions which were asked for the 15 marker question. So here you can see there are three questions. You have to attempt only two questions. You have a choice to leave one question. Now, what were these questions? Before going into the question, you should know how you have to write it and what the word limit you have to keep in your mind. So the word limit is 600 words. And believe me, it is very hard to touch this word limit. You can maximally write about uh, the question in 300 to 400 words. Reaching 600 words for one question, it's next to impossible because we are having less amount of time and we have to write five descriptive answers. So the tip for you, you have to attempt all the questions first. Then second, first attempt all the question and try to manage a word limit near about 300 words for every question for in the 15 marker section okay once you are done with that thing jump to the next section of the 10 marker and write your answers once you're done with all the questions come back to the questions answers and increase the words that, or increase the lines uh, that will add more for your word limit why we have to do like this because if you try to make one question for 600 words or let's say 500 words you can get how many marks maximally 15 and you will lose an opportunity to write a next question so first what our target should be our target should be that we are able to write every question for at least minimum half of the word limit so for 600 word you should write at least 300 ones once you are once you have an idea okay 300 words are done and you you have answered it in a very good manner just move to the next question once the remaining time is being there then we can just think which question you are feeling more confident about and can increase the word limit okay now what kind of questions were asked you can see the questions are very easy they require just basic knowledge you can see the first question is asking about the software development life cycle and its phases so you just have to explain the different phases the different kind of models that are involved and that to in a like a manner in which you write university level exam now you cannot draw anything here you only have to write you cannot use any graphics like uh, rectangles or squares or any kind of flow chart to complete it what you can do you can just make pointed answers 
but only thing that you can do is to write you can use only text you cannot use anything other than the text to explain your answers so you have to be imaginative enough to portray your answer in the word or manner along with that in a bullet format or let's say in a numbered format so that it is uh, pleasing to read at the same time it is understood okay now the second question is about the normalization process in dbms so you just have to explain the different normal forms why normalization is important why we do normalization and all those things what are the pros and cons of the normalization then the third question is about the denial of service attack we all know that this is a cyber security attack now once you have these three question you have to decide which you have to attempt so there should be two criteria to actually pick a question number 1 you should know about the answer you should have a clue what you are going to write you should have a uh, fam familiarity for the question second you must know in which question you are going to have more content let's say for this scenario we definitely know that if we are going to attempt the first two questions about the sdlc and the normalization we are going to have more words in our hand to replicate rather than just talking about the denial of service attack because it is just like a paragraph nothing more you can add to and then it will be repetition but with sdlc and with normalization you have a variety to explore and you can increase the word without thinking a second thought so these are the two things while you choose the descriptive questions which you are going to attempt this is actually the thing where people fall apart because everybody knows about these three things but choosing which one you have to attempt is uh, in a fraction of second is actually the decision making in the exam now let's go to the 10 marker question for the 10 marker question you will have the word limit of 400 words so first try to attempt the questions in 200 words once you're done with that then try to increase the words So here the questions were from the dynamic memory allocation in C. So you know these functions: calloc, malloc, reloc, free. You have to explain about it. Why we need dynamic memory allocation? What? Why we cannot use any other thing? That you can explain in this particular thing. Now explain about the deadlock in operating system and the conditions responsible for it. So first you can explain the deadlock, the phases, why it occurs, and then the conditions which are responsible for it, and the conditions if we allow them not to happen. how we can just to get rid of the deadlock then you have algorithms like banker's algorithm you can also write about that then uh, explain in detail about the big data so yes definitely there will be one question which will be like with the trending technology like blockchain big data ai how do anything like that and you have to write about it so what you can see here right now is that the descriptive questions are familiar to you if you have dedicated decent amount of time with the subjects you will know about the question now the point is like how you will write the answers so for writing the answer first you should prepare short notes on different different topics and these short notes should be bullet pointed now once you are going to attempt any mock test you have to focus on your key writing speed so your writing speed should be very fast because you see here they require a good speed to write the entire answer 600 word is nothing uh, when it comes to a question writing and uh, frankly speaking none of the students who have appeared in the phase 2 were able to meet these requirements so please don't uh, feel bad if you don't meet these requirement during the exam what you need to do just half of it for the very first thing definitely you will be having 5 to 10 minutes after you attempt the 15 marker and 10 marker question and then you can increase the words in which ever question you feel you should increase okay So yes this was all from my side uh, regarding the nabard uh, previous year question paper for the descriptive section we will bring another video with the objective questions what were the objective questions because the objective questions are a little different type rather than which are asked in the regular examinations they are uh, different type of question so we'll bring a next video on uh, the objective side of the nabard till the time you can keep practicing and stay updated with uh, the information that we provide on our youtube channel so if you like this uh, video do hit the like button and press the subscribe uh, button so that you can get regular update from our side and also do hit the bell icon so that whenever we post any video you will get the direct notification on your youtube and if you want to visit our website and see our nabard course you can directly log into the um, website that is www.examby.com so that was all from my side see you in the next video